just as the sun is setting, I thought I'd give you a semi-final update on the uh, SNES case spray paint expedition. Probably see in the back there we've got the PlayStation, which I'm still working on modding. But this has actually come out quite well, um, and the colour is quite Famicom-esque. So you can see the grey controller ports in there. I didn't have access to a desoldering gun, so unfortunately they weren't uh, removed. But I'm sure in the future they're easy enough to come out. Just desolder these little guys and out it comes. Spray paint it black, I guess. Nice checkerboard effect. So inside there we've got the, uh, the buttons, which uh, actually worked out really well. A lot better than I was expecting anyway. So you've got the... Uh, sort of surrounding piece that sits in there. Check button. Reset button. That sits on top, which gives us a uh, red, black, red, black. It's quite nice. It's unfortunate the uh, stickers were slightly mangled when they came out. I've also gone ahead and spray painted the uh, little locking mechanism that comes up in there black, but uh, that won't be done for a little while yet. And this one, cartridge flap has still been painted. We uh, forgot it didn't have one, so I went and pulled one off that uh, other SNES that died the other week. It's all good. And here's the rest of the bits for this one. My one's uh, this one over here. This is the other fellows. Mine has the uh, Super CIC half installed, as you can probably see there with the LED and the resistors hanging off. Hopefully nothing shorting out under there. And really one good way to test it is to plug it in. So actually, you know what, I'll put this one together and just show you what it looks like on the top. It's getting dark now, and uh, let me tell you, you think there is only two ways you can go in and eject the button? It, it can actually go in the wrong way, <laughs> as I've just found out. Push it up, and uh, it's yeah, doing the backward thing. Mm -hmm. And there's the end result. Well, near the end result. Until I can be bothered to uh, desolder the back plate and the uh, controller ports. Hopefully it won't happen for a while, because I'm quite lazy like that. <laughs> Still had some charge in it. There you go. That's why you always turn your snares off by unplugging it from power when you're working on it anyway that way everything discharges so as you can see at the back we've got uh, a bit of grey there but that's fine the uh, vinyl paint it does scrape off if you pick at it I I think uh, Hexagon recommended using some some sort of lacquer clear lacquer on top might also make it shine and get nice and fingerprinty if I pick it up at too early. Knowing my luck, that's what would happen. Overall, that's that's pretty good given what it looked like before. It's definitely a step in the right direction. Now I just need to get some uh, Mario decals, Nintendo decals, and we're good to go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Uh, so that was using a vinyl dye spray paint. Same stuff they use on, uh, well, vinyl seats in the motor cars. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hee 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 hee. Oh, I'm terrible at this song. Where's the claps?